Oh man, another disappointment. Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day. And I try things so you don't have to. I am here at Wendy's and I'm I'm bummed straight out of the chute. I, I wanted to give them a chance to redeem themselves after that horrible maple chicken thing that I got. If you're not sure, I'll, I'll put the, the link up there um, or up there or wherever. So I wanted to review for you biscuits and gravy today. They're sausage gravy and biscuits is what they call it. They don't have it. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and then the little bell notification to get notified whenever YouTube Whenever I put out a new video on YouTube, I haven't had my coffee yet. And then punch that freaking like button right in the face because I sure would appreciate it. So I really wanted to try this sausage gravy and biscuits over here on the West Coast, maybe, or this location. I don't know. I think it might be just the West Coast. They don't have biscuits and gravy. The, the cashier said that they have it in the south or the east or what I think she said the south so it's just like so only people in the south like biscuits and gravy are you freaking kidding me I love biscuits and gravy breakfast all around is awesome for breakfast lunch or dinner but biscuits and gravy and a chicken fried steak is the best breakfast ever and they don't carry it so this is an impromptu review i am going to review for you today the breakfast baconator and i brought my coupon so i got a free coffee with it too let us go to the clipboard of fluff which is written up for the sausage gravy and biscuits the breakfast baconator is six pieces of applewood smoked bacon egg cheese and sausage. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of bun it's on, but we'll find out. Of course, I have my handy dandy steering wheel tray here. I'm here before nine before they open up the uh, the dining area, so I had to go through the drive through but there is the bag I got right there. It says America's favorite breakfast. I'm not sure how they figured that one since there are only a few days, maybe a week at the most into breakfast. Got my napkins. I have the damage right there for you. And there is the breakfast baconator all wrapped up again once again in the silver little foil package that they do things in. Hamburger! Do not microwave. Okay, I won't. Mainly because this isn't a hamburger. At least it better not be. Here's what we're looking at. Looks like a brioche bun. It's got that kind of gloss to it. And it's got a little bit of bounce. I'll open it up to the inner workings. And there's the six pieces of applewood smoked bacon. I know the others are down there somewhere. And whatever that sauce is, don't know. And then the cheese and the egg right there and then the, the sausage patty down there so yep that is it the breakfast baconator if i seem a little bit low key it's because i'm really bummed i was really looking forward to that biscuits and gravy today but it is what it is okay so it looks good so we will give this puppy a shot make sure i get the egg and the bacon in there and the sausage Here's a look at the inner workings of the breakfast baconator. Let's do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna piece this thing apart. Since this is my first rodeo with Wendy's breakfast, I want to see what all the elements are like. So there is a piece of that bacon right there. It's almost gonna drip. Okay, it tastes like and it has the texture of a real piece of bacon. So um, I'm gonna err on the side that this is real bacon. This is not fake and bacon. It's got a nice little crispness to it, not too, too much, which is good. Let's do some of the egg and the cheese. 
egg is nicely cooked. It's not rubbery, has a nice flavor to it. A little bit of seasoning on it. And finally, a piece of the sausage there. Got some cheese on that too. I like their sausage. A little bit of sausage bite to it. Nicely textured, uh, flavorful. Yeah. And the bun is lightly toasted and fresh. I'm not sure what that sauce is on there, but it has a good texture to it, a, a nice thickness to it, and it has some good flavor to it. No, no bite or anything, no little heat, but just a good flavor. I, I'm sure it's, not, I'm pretty sure it's not mayo. So I don't know if anybody knows what that is. If any Wendy's employee is watching this, leave a comment down below. Let me know what that sauce is. I think it'd be nice to offer this on a croissant also. So I am, oh, my breathing's coming back to me, filling up my lungs with air. I, my, my anxiety is gone down. I'm, I'm calmer, I'm calmer because I, this is nothing like that first thing that I had, so feels good. Okay, usually I do a by the numbers type of thing, but I pretty much did that already, let you know. Overall, um, this is pretty good. I, I like this. Um, it's it's just a nice rounded out breakfast on a bun. I like all the elements. All the elements work well together. The damage on the Wendy's Baconator was four dollars and thirty nine cents. I know that you can get it in a combo for I, I think it's six thirty nine for. A couple more bucks, you get a coffee and their their little potato wedges with it, so you can opt for that. But like I said, I used a coupon and I got a large coffee with it, so that'll be nice. Take a sip of this. Wow. Just as a side note, a second review, they have got a nice full-bodied, flavorful, smooth coffee, too. This is good stuff. I mean, this made up for them not having the biscuits and gravy. I mean, when you got good coffee, you got everything you need. Oh, that's nice to know. They have a breakfast guarantee. It says, seriously, if after one bite our breakfast isn't your favorite, we'll be shocked but we'll also let you pick something else similar from our breakfast menu. No questions asked, no money exchanged. The only risk is that we're right and you have a new favorite breakfast, which we are and you will. Man, that last thing I would have brought back if I had known about that. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Wendy's Baconator with all those pieces of bacon and the nice sausage and the nice egg and the good cheesiness. I didn't mention that, a nice cheese melted all over in there. There you go. Um, <clears throat> I think I would give this a middle of the road, I like it. Yay! Gonna be fair. Um, everything works well together. This isn't something earth shaking by any means. It's sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese. It's not nothing that you're gonna go, wow, I never saw anything like this before. But for what it is, it is a good sandwich. The price is a little bit high in my opinion, but then again, in my opinion, every price is high anymore. I'm an old nerd, I'm still living back in the 70s and 80s. Would I recommend this? Yeah, I think I would. Um, if you wanna sink $4 and some odd cents into a breakfast, this would be a decent one to do it with. Um, and, and I'd probably get this again if I had a coupon for money off. But I have to say, all in all, Wendy's, with this, you redeemed yourself. You gave me faith that the rest of your breakfast menu has a chance. But Wendy's, over here in the Pacific Northwest, bring that sausage, biscuits, and gravy over here. There's people out here who like that. So there you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit me, follow me, 
subscribe to me, all of the above over on my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Old Nerd Reviews straight across the board, the website oldnerdreviews.com, and the new channel, Old Nerd Reviews 2, T-O-O, -O, which we do demos, unboxings, and product reviews, non-food related over there, and we have fun. If you do all that, you too can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. There you go. You betcha. All right. You guys have a freaking awesome day. Oh, there's a big truck. And, ooh, squirrel. <laughs> and I'll see you next video. Bye now.